this video i'll talk about the various appliances that are used for arch expansion in a very easy way so that you understand and you're able to attempt it uh, well in your exam so first of all starting from the removable appliance the one that we discussed over here so in removable appliance what we see is only two features to remember properly the first one being that you will see a split acrylic plate with a midline screw all right now let's make it in this very cast all right suppose this is our maxilla right and uh, we will make something like just give me something. first of all we will make a split acrylic plate and we will make a midline screw all right now however uh, this is usually uh, given in the deciduous and mixed dentition the disadvantage of this appliance is that it is uh, difficult to retain the plate in mouth all right uh, it produces skeletal expansion all right now let's talk about the fixed appliances now in fixed appliances we have two bonded and banded um in the uh, bonded ones we have uh in the bonded ones we can talk about uh, various forms like just give me a second uh yeah in this we will talk about tooth bond and tissue bond further so uh first of all we'll discuss about derish wheelers in derish wheeler what you will uh, basically draw and you have to remember so first of all just remember that it is over first premolar and first molar all right then remember that there are certain palatal aspects there are given uh, they give wire tags all right so just draw a wire tag on the palatal aspect all right then there is going to be an split acrylic plate draw the split acrylic plate now this split acrylic plate is going to be joined by a screw so draw the screw all right easier to understand now just uh, label them first of all what we will write is it has first premolar and molar banded wire tags soldered onto palatal aspect of bands wire tags inserted into split acrylic plate a screw is incorporated in split acrylic plate all right now let's talk about the hash type in hash type also you have to remember that there is one uh, premolar and one molar again all right hope it's visible yeah so again draw something like this draw the bands all right now one thing you must remember is uh in this the first premolar and the molar either sides are banded all right so band both the sides all right now in this very uh, characteristic feature is that there is a thick stainless steel wire around 1.2 mm uh, in diameter it is soldered both on the buccal and the lingual aspect so uh, this wire is on the both buccal and lingual aspect basically this wire is on buccal and lingual aspect okay now uh, in the lingual side this wire is kept longer as compared to the buccal aspect all right uh then the these extensions these are bent palatally all right to get embedded into the split acrylic plate so we will again draw the split acrylic plate and now we will incorporate a screw in order to hold the plate all right now let's just write what all we have done so first of all first premolar and molar banded on either side then we take a thick stainless steel wire 
soldered on buckle and lingual aspects of the band lingual aspect of bands lingual aspect wire kept longer ends are bent palatally these ends embedded into split acrylic plate in cooperation of screw to hold the split acrylic plate all right now coming on to the is axon this is very important and this is very easy so in this what you see is there is a spring loaded screw all right uh, in this first of all we again uh, first premolar and molar they are banded all right in this then the metal flanges they are soldered onto the bands all right these are soldered onto the bands on the buckle and the lingual side then there is a screw which is called as uh mine expander all right now over here we will just write what we have talked about so first premolar and molar are banded metal flanges are soldered onto bands on buckle and lingual side now talking about the expander it is a basically a coil spring which has a nut that compresses the spring all right now coming on to the hyrax type in hyrax type first of all remember it stands for hygienic rapid expander over here again first of all we have premolar and we have molar they are soldered with a band on either side and then there is a heavy gauge wire extensions that are incorporated in the screw which are adapted to follow palatal contour all right now we'll talk about coffin spring in coffin spring it was given by walter coffin this is easy uh in coffin spring basically we are attempting to uh, do slow expansion all right uh, so in coffin spring you can remember it something like it is basically omega shaped omega is like this omega shaped wire of 1.25 mm thickness placed in mid palatal region all right now over here uh, you have to uh, remember the name uh, the shape of an omega so in this you will take mm, you will have one atom clasp on both premolar and one first molar all right so all right then you will have a split acrylic plate and then you will have the coffin spring
All right. Free ends of coffin spring are embedded in acrylic plate. Now coming on to quad helix. In quad helix, uh, basically first remember it was given by Ricketts. Then uh, in this, basically it is an evolved form of coffin spring only. It has four helices. First of all, it is something like this. The uh, bands are given on first molar is banded. All right. Now coming on to the NITA expanders. Now NITA expanders, uh, they they are uh, they come under the miscellaneous category. All right. Uh, so in this, uh, the uh, what we do is. In this, first of all, we have an anterior finger spring. These are temperature sensitive. Night eye, expander, loops. These are first molar lingual sheath bands. All right. Now, uh, this is uh, highly biocompatible and it is has the capacity to rotate and so on. Remember, it was given by Andit. All right. Uh, this is important. Uh, first of all, just remember the temperature as 84 degree Fahrenheit. All right. In this, there is shape memory and transitioning. However, if the temperature is more than 84, there it will lead to stiffness. If it is less, it will lead to more flexible material. All right. Now, finger uh, spring over here is uh, basically given for lateral expansion. Of canine and premolar region. All right. So this completes the appliances that are mainly used for arch expansion. I hope I made it easier for you to understand and make diagrams. Uh, if you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.